What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, in another day in the market, another day for some excitement, some rattling, and some selling. <laughs> what a day. The Fed started today. They started their meetings today. And as per the usual, uh, we started selling and playing a lot of flats, except uh, tech did take quite the hit today. Now, that could be because of the fact that uh, taxes are talked about, uh, which could also actually be uh, a leverage piece into this whole negotiations, into the architecture of everything. Um, if they put the taxes high, uh, perhaps it'd be something they can negotiate down. Maybe that's something they're putting in. I don't know, I have no clue, but I know uh, the bonds uh, in general today uh, had a dramatic sell-off. Again, the bond yields, uh, again, whenever there's any kind of dramatic move in the bonds, uh, normally that will cause tech to sell off because of the rates and normalization. Um, could be it, it's hard to tell. Uh, right now there's just a lot of stuff going on with the Fed, and again, leading until tomorrow with uh, Powell. Uh, we are still in March. It is only the halfway through March. So uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised if we continue to rattle uh, like this for another week. Uh, maybe we get another rally at the uh, end of the week going into next week and then possibly a little bit more selling before we push. Although we did hit all time highs, the market in itself is still looking really good. I'm not really quite sure what is pushing up because the market is actually pushing up after hours. I know there's some value stocks that uh, have been pushing up. BA is not one of them. Um, so it's it's interesting to find where the actual value is and where the money is flowing today. Again, I play mostly uh, tech uh, and growth stocks. Uh, so being said, um, I just kind of really watched uh, tech take a beating today. <laughs> but with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already and throw up the shots. Now, being said, uh, yeah, BA, we can start off with BA. It was left on here, but uh, <laughs> uh, BA selling off. Again, it's at a, uh, not a bad support, but we want it further down. Uh, BA will tend to to roll off a little bit and then kind of consolidate for quite a while uh, before you can get back into that one. Uh, but ultimately, uh, we're going to check out SPY here. Uh, SPY is pushing up after hours, so I'm not really sure what was actually uh hold, there's some things that did hold up pretty well overnight um but being said um uh, that held pretty well today uh but they were again tech tesla being the main one uh, tesla took a major hit today uh with everything that was going on um the energy space in general yeah, energy went down. There were some. There were some that held their ground pretty well today. But I would say uh, the main ones I was playing, uh, like Apple, started to to give way. It did push well this morning, but then it just started to give way. Where Tesla kind of uh, had a little whipsaw this morning, and then just ended up selling off pretty hard towards the end of the day. Uh, but uh, let's see, Spy again. Spy looks really good actually. Um, QQQ on the other hand. Again, looks good. It just play, it's still playing this range, still playing within the channels. Uh, it's it's nice to actually see QQQ starting to push up. Um, again, tomorrow, uh, what I am actually planning on seeing tomorrow, uh, if we go back to the bonds here, uh, the bonds had that dramatic move down. Uh, could have been what, uh, again, the massive fast move is what's going to cause the sell off uh, so fast. Also, we had that push up and then like sell down. So there was a lot of stuff being debated uh, with the Fed uh, that could have been what was controlling a lot of this wick here uh, towards the middle of the day. And then that's when Tesla actually started doing a lot of selling today. Um, but I mean, the VIX, uh, there's no not a lot of real fear in the market right now. Again, it's just all inflation worries. Uh, could be, could not be. Maybe there's something else at play here. Uh, but uh, I know since that's been the topic of March thus far, uh, <laughs> you could pretty much say that's, that's probably going to be what it is. We'll go ahead and just default to that right now. Um, gold and silver, to be honest, 
are actually consolidating really well. Um, so we'll have to see how they play out. Uh, I, I don't typically play gold and silver, um, although this run up, this bull run that's about to happen, um, I don't know if I'm going to play gold or silver, to be honest. I think there'll be bigger moves in, in value in tech uh, as it, compared to gold and silver. Uh, we'll definitely have to see in Bitcoin, uh, obviously being another one of those things. I don't really talk about Bitcoin too much on this channel. Although I do look at the index, kind of see where it's playing with the bonds and everything. It actually looks like it's it's primed to, it actually looks getting ready to push back up to all time highs, uh, to be honest, right at this very moment. Uh, but being said, uh, QQQ, uh, still playing range, looks good. Channel, I mean, we might do a rattle, like I said, we might... Uh, sell tomorrow. So I won't be surprised if we didn't come down and touch this bottom channel right on this 50 and then uh, push back up on the daily on QQQ. I'm pretty solid. All we did is retest the 20 and bottom channel. So uh, again, it was just a uh, normal, in my opinion, Fed. Normally this kind of happens. We have some of these dramatic moves around when the Fed speaks. Uh, again, Mr. Powell won't be talking till tomorrow. I believe he talks at 2, 2.30 tomorrow. I think the notes come out at 2, and then he actually talks at 2.30 tomorrow. Uh, so just be aware of that what will typically happen, what I typically see is we'll get a pump in the morning, and then after the fact, uh, we kind of just go stagnant. Um, at that point, uh, metals typically do run pretty well. So I might actually watch metals in the morning tomorrow uh, if it hasn't gapped up in the morning. Uh, take a position on those and, and play that out. Uh, TLT also likes to run as well a little bit beforehand. Have to see how that all plays out tomorrow, how overnight plays. But right now, everything's still looking solid. I mean, it was just a, a little pullback. We did have a massive run. We've been consolidating a lot on Tesla. Uh, so again, holding the support really well. If it is in this uh, tomorrow, uh, going through what Powell says tomorrow, I'll definitely be taking a leap out of this. Uh, there's still a lot coming with the architecture and everything comes out. Um, you know, if um, any kind of, of you know, um, tax credits for EVs or anything like that come out, uh, Tesla will run fast, far. Uh, so I want to be a part of that. Also, the, I think this year they still got tons going on with autonomous vehicles and everything else. Uh, Tesla, again, is more than just a car company. In my opinion, it is uh, pure energy, autonomous uh, the AI side, right? They, they have so much going for it than just the car side. Uh, eventually, uh, everybody will understand that point uh, that it's more than just the car side. But being said, they're still making a killing in Bitcoin. So there's always that. Uh, but looking for this tomorrow and, and watching this to see what happens. Uh, but with that being said, Airbnb, I did uh, play Tesla, I scalped Tesla for a little bit today. And then I also scalped again towards the end of the day. And I gave uh, pretty much what I had back. I didn't, it wasn't really big. So I pretty much broke even today. I did take some red on Airbnb today. Uh, I tried to grab it here. It popped. Uh, I didn't sell it. And then it just sold off pretty quick. So I ended up uh, taking a little bit of red on this, uh, but still good on the week um, from my place earlier this week. But nonetheless, Airbnb, uh, if it actually comes down here to this uh, 195 mark, uh, close to that 200 EMA, that would be fantastic. Again, another one I want to take a leap in. So this might be another good chance uh, to get leaps before a bull run. Again, this is not financial advice. And then also today, Roblox finally had uh, options. And I did buy an October option on this pullback today. Uh, now, one thing to keep in mind when options do come out on... Uh, IPOs, right? A lot of the market makers, um, the rates are very uh, versatile <laughs> to say the least. Uh, so I made sure I wanted to get a lot of time on this particular one. The price action on this has actually been right along around a lot today. Um, so just letting that play out. But I did grab a Ro Roblox October call. So playing that one out um, for the next couple of months, I think, again, this one will rip back and try to test the nine, if not more, uh, when everything starts pushing back up. But it is holding really well, and there's a lot of buyers in here. There's definitely a lot of value in Roblox. Uh, Apple, uh, actually, like, like I said, Apple held well. I actually should have grabbed some before I closed today because it looks like it's ready to pop again, uh, along with QQQ. Um, 
but Apple is a good one to keep on watch, especially when it starts rolling. It can really start rolling, and it's been really leading, uh, especially with Tesla uh, falling uh, out of the falling out of the sky a little bit today. But uh, SQ um, could is another good one. Uh, but right now, in my opinion, it's high. Even like when I was looking at Airbnb today, uh, before I even got in, I was like, you know what? It's actually pretty high, especially close to the all-time high here. I was like, maybe I should just let it die off. I didn't, and I paid for it. Uh, so that was my mistake. Uh, again, it does happen. Uh, sometimes they do happen. It's just managing risk. As soon as it broke that, I ended up selling it. I didn't keep it and ride that train all the way down, that is for sure. Uh, but ultimately, uh, just to keep that in mind. Uh, so with that being said, Facebook actually had a huge rip out of the gate and is holding very well. Like I said, there's a couple stocks that held well and Facebook being one of them. Um, you look and see how this holds tomorrow. Again, it is uh, pushing up quite high, although uh, Facebook is, is a very strong stock. The fundamentals are there. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, though, if we only get another push to maybe this uh, 287. At that point, I think, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see 300. So I definitely keep my stop short on Facebook at that point. Uh, kind of like I was just talking about uh, Airbnb. So I think Facebook is kind of at that point where uh, it could possibly come down a lot more before it goes up. Uh, being said, uh, BYND took one big hit after that pump yesterday. It is right back into the zone. Again, I don't know if this is uh, turning into a consolidation area. I wouldn't be interested in it till it hit the 130 mark and then uh, go from that point. Uh, but we have to definitely watch and see where the new base for this is because my old base used to be about on the, uh, the 112 mark, the 110 mark down here. So uh, now that I have that second explosive move up to uh, 200, um, it looks like it's the, the new base is starting to be that 130 mark-ish, maybe the 125 mark. Uh, so we definitely watch it on this on this roll down and see where it bases again. Spot um, spot finally broke out of the wedge and kind of playing sideways. Uh, once uh, tomorrow ends up, this might be a good one to go for leaps. Uh, again, now that it's broken the wedge, it's just moving back with the market at this point. Uh, so in my mind, if again we get another consolidation day, uh, if it doesn't sell uh, too much tomorrow. Not thinking we're going to sell a lot tomorrow. I know there was a uh, just the other week when Powell had spoken. Um, you know, we had that a little bit of uh, whipsaw in the morning. There was a lot of whipsaw actually, and then we we took off. I wouldn't be surprised if we have some whipsaw in the morning. Uh, do some selling again, and then uh, kind of base whipsaw until pretty much Powell comes on. Uh, reiterates the same story. Again, it really depends on how the market's going to digest this. Uh, I know social media is in the news essentially just blasting Powell uh, on not uh, doing anything about the rates. Um, so it really just depends if the market's going to throw another fit or not. Um, again, the market is holding. I don't know, really know what is holding up. There's some stocks that are holding well. I mean, others are taking a beating, so I'm not quite sure what's really holding at this point. But uh, spot could be again a good one, a, a good one that could hold and it'll go up. Uh, Twilla was actually one I want to look at tomorrow. I talked about it last night and it did pop. I didn't catch this one this morning. I wasn't paying attention to this one, but definitely one I want to watch tomorrow. If it does break back over this one, uh, this uh, 374 mark, I'm looking uh, to get back in to get in this one and riding this one for the next couple months. Uh, I do like Twilio in the cloud space, uh, Etsy. Uh, Sideways for the most part, sold off like everything else. Uh, Disney's had a lot of consolidation, but it finally broke under that 200. So we might see this back at 185. But do if it is, if it does hit this area down here, uh, I'll definitely be looking to grab some Disney at that point uh, for a value play slash growth play. Snap. Um, I almost grabbed this today. I wanted it a little bit lower. I was watching this in, in Tesla when they're both selling. Um, but we'll have to see again how tomorrow plays. I don't want to hold any kind of tech, even though I have Roblox. It's for October call. So, um, but being said, uh, I don't want to jump into any more tech because I have a feeling that tech will sell, even though it's pushing right now. I have a feeling tech will sell off a little bit in the morning. 
Uh, maybe we might gap up. I don't know, but we'll play it by ear. It's just easier not to hold anything overnight and just wait till it plays out. Uh, again, I am in all my comments, so I haven't changed any of that. But uh, for any new positions, I didn't want to take any new positions for overnight hold. Uh, you uh, did very well overnight, but then it's pushed back down. So, uh, but again, once everything is is corrected, I think you will continue up and and really start doing some damage again. Uh, uh, energy play STPK uh, again, everything just waiting, uh, waiting on this whole power thing. Hopefully, um, this all gets digested. Hopefully, all this, uh, you know, people can calm down from this and then uh, markets start uh, going back to normal, right? Um, right now is a normalizing process with the, with the yields and, and growth stocks, uh, kind of really holding it down. But you could tell tech is definitely wanted to run hard. For the past couple of days, but we just get, keep getting hung up on, on this bond yield thing. So I'm gonna have to see how long this plays out. Maybe it's just March and then April uh, going into earnings and stuff. Uh, maybe we start uh, ripping and rolling again. So uh, Pelletier, it was holding well, although it's coming back down. I'm hoping it doesn't come back down to 25. Uh, we'll definitely have to see. It looks like we're headed back down there to this consolidation area. A lot of stuff looks, a lot of tech looks like it's headed back to its original consolidated consolidation area, the same with NNDM. Um, so we'll have to see how this does play out. Again, I'm in these in commons. Uh, again, if you are uh, just investing in these, it, it's just normal, right? If you're investing, it's actually better because you're not watching this every single day. But nonetheless, um, these little moves and stuff like that. Um, NNDM is definitely a good one in my opinion uh, for the rest of the year, just waiting for, again, tech to, to do something. And NOX, I didn't take a, posi a position at all on this today. I did watch it. I didn't really like it was here, uh, opening bell. It was really struggling. Uh, then it actually started selling. I think this this wick and pop was, was pretty quick. Uh, I didn't actually see this come all the way down and, and roll back up in this morning. So, but nonetheless, I didn't like the way it was set up. So I just let it go. Um, Fastly holding well, actually, if it does break above this again tomorrow, uh, Fastly could be another good position tomorrow. Uh, Planet 13, uh, still looking strong. I want to actually add to this position. If it is holding here tomorrow, I'll look to add here um, to my longer term swings. Uh, this and uh, the very good company. Uh, I'm still holding these two. These, these are two of my favorite pe penny stocks, essentially. So uh, looking to ride these out for the majority of the year. EvoGen did do some selling, but it is consolidating nicely. Actually in a good spot, uh, that 514 mark, 510 mark. Uh, Plan good range here. Uh, could be a big breakout here before too long, uh, but have to see again. It was just kind of random. It didn't really, in my opinion, it didn't seem like anything. I, I don't know how the market pushed up. Uh, there was nothing uh, plain this day uh, that was showing the market pushing up today. Again, things held, some things held well, but nothing pushed. So I don't know how uh, the market didn't pull back more than it did. But um, sometimes you just can't explain it. Um, the market in itself, uh, tan. Tan's looking okay. I know I played Tan in the beginning for resources, but it's not really something I'm. I think end phase might be a better play than Tan uh, coming up with this uh, architecture uh, bill that's coming out. Uh, MP. Uh, one thing I would definitely watch out for MP is the earnings coming up. Uh, I'd probably let that play out, and then at that point, if it does dip, I may give you a better buying opportunity. Uh, aside from that. Uh, if you want to risk it, uh, go <laughs> risk it, risk management, right? If you are investing and you know uh, you've done your due diligence, then by all means do what you want to do. But uh, just be aware that uh, earnings is coming up. Um, looks like on Wednesday, yeah, on Wednesday, TSIA, flat end phase, um, still holding well, holding this zone well. So as long as it continues to stay in the zone tomorrow, uh, definitely be worth a dip buy. NIO, I've been contemplating taking NIO, um, but I don't know. I'll probably actually wait for this uh, 35 mark. If it does hit here by, for some crazy reason tomorrow, which I'm surprised it didn't, it didn't sell off nowhere near as bad as Tesla, 
Uh, maybe we'll get a gap down on EO tomorrow uh, with everything going on, but we'll definitely have to watch that one. Uh, Bluebird uh, pushing back nicely. Lucid. Lucid actually kind of held pretty well today. Surprising. Uh, 3D printing. Uh, Proto Labs is actually holding really well. Uh, I need to actually, I think the thing I don't, why I don't grab this particular one is there's um, the premiums on the call options on this are pretty high. So I haven't really messed with this. Although it's something I, I need to look at tomorrow on 3D printing. Uh, I think that rotation is coming back around here very shortly. Uh, Walmart still holding very well. Um, I need to actually look at leaps here again for Walmart uh, before that decides to take back off. Um, Vips. Vips continues to push. It looks like re it, may, it might have been uh, retail that pushed today. Um, space. Space still playing zone. Again, could be a good pickup depending on everything plays for the rest of uh, the week. Uh, well, really tomorrow. Tomorrow is really going to give us an idea of what's going on with everything. Uh, PayPal actually looks really strong here as well. Uh, so that could also be something that... Uh, play tomorrow. It's playing this range. As long as you're holding uh, shares or leaps or longer term contracts, you should be okay with that one. Um, Lemonade is at, I think, a good spot too. Again, all depending on tomorrow. Right now, it's hard to say because right now they're kind of in this, this little zone with all these EMAs wrapped in it. So it's kind of uh, let it play out. Uh, don't be quick, right? You don't have to trade every day. Just kind of let it play out. And then at that point, uh, go from there. But uh, again, VA, Amazon, and yeah, it looks like e-commerce has kind of been pushing everything up today or holding well. Um, Google had a nice little well, – Google's actually playing a nice range here uh, back and forth. So between this uh, uh, 2031 and this uh, 2124 range, uh, if you can grab it, this pretty nice move back and forth that it's been doing. I haven't actually been paying attention to that one too much, but uh, shop – taking kind of a hit let me see hd it looks like some value stocks did pretty well today um actually netflix looks really good right here to be honest uh, netflix might actually be turning uh which could be something i was talking about yesterday about how it might not be anything but uh, it looks like it's turning today uh roku uh, consolidating could be good for a longer term swing uh, pins uh, pretty solid. It didn't sell that much. There's a lot of stuff that didn't didn't sell as bad. ZM uh, sold quite a bit. Took a pretty good hit today. CCL uh, win. Kind of everything's just kind of holding workhorse. Sold off today. Again, a lot of tech took beating. Qualcomm, Qualcomm actually looks set up perfectly right now. So if it does hold this tomorrow, Qualcomm could be a really good play tomorrow. Have to see how that's coming gonna happen. Let's see here. Uh, airlines. Airlines looks like it's starting to get tired. I think airlines might be wearing out. My only thing with the value stocks is I think you have to be careful because I think once the money rotates out of value, it's gonna probably drop pretty quick. Especially with the uh, ones like airlines, uh, AMC, stuff like that. I think it uh, could be a, a massive drop really fast. Let's see here. Activision, Sideways, WWE. Uh, could actually be wedging here. If it breaks this uh, 60, it might be worth uh, getting in at that point and get bigger runs out of it at that point. But right now it's it's at that top zone, so we might get more selling before that actually plays out. Uh, AMC, uh, nice push up overnight, but massive uh, gap down. So that one looks like it's coming down as well. Uh, GMA, it looks like it's finally starting to pull back some. Uh, let's, let me see here. REI, looks like it had, getting ready to had earnings. It completely dumped, or dumped really bad before close, actually. Uh, have to see how that earnings plays out tomorrow. And then let's last look at Tilray. Tilray dump. <laughs> Yeah, the MJ space is, uh, is taking a hit pretty bad, um, although Planet 13 is holding uh, pretty well, so that's interesting. But nonetheless, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, being said, 
uh, tomorrow. Again, I think uh, you have to be very careful. You have to be mindful of what's going on with Powell, uh, see what's going on with him, with the rates. If he plays the same song and dance, uh, prepare for a tantrum in the market. Uh, I think if that happens, we might see some attempted selling. Uh, we might just see a lot of whipsaw tomorrow. Uh, to be honest, again, I, I'm looking for a pump in the morning, uh, then kind of flat, maybe some selling uh, before Powell comes on the horn. So being said, manage risk, have fun, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.